Hmm, I wonder what's on TV. This is a fake story. Of four diverse strangers. Forced to live in a crib. Work together. And have their lives taped. If you want to find out what happens. When people stop being polite. And start getting real. The, the real, real world. world. Fry Street. Next. This is our senior costume, Ethnic News. What's this? Breaking news? KFC has just added a new entree to the to the menu. W watermelon! Yeah! <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, excuse me. Back to today's news. <laughs> watermelon. Of another day. And they all felt more like I'm a white female. And I'm a black male. And together, we're happy. Thanks, Thanks eHarmony. eHarmony.com. Register now. This is a story all about how Marita Bonner spent her life writing stuff that I'd not like to take a minute just sit and pause as I'll tell you how she became an impact on the Harlem Renaissance. Bam, bam, bam. In the state of Massachusetts, born and raised on the piano where she spent most of her days. Started out there, and before you knew it, she was writing so much she couldn't stop doing it. One thing led to another. She went off to Rancliffe, met a lot of people, and became real cool. Talked to some girls, decided to start a crew. They were called Delta Sigma Theta. Bam, bam. School was great, and all looked good, till she got one phone call that really changed her mood. Mom and dad were dead, is what the person said. She leaned on her writing to help her clear her head. Writing, writing, that's what helped her climb the hill. Packed up and went to Chicago, and that's where she met Will. Her family was started in that very state. Her writing was being read in a very cool place. The Harlem Renaissance, where colored people could go. Live there, be themselves without putting a show. She inspired and then became a hero in their eyes. Many people loved her, and she became... Real cool.